one thing that I personally against. I'm not saying it's worthless, and I'm not going to make any friends here in, in the CrossFit community, which I have many friends in. Uh, it's the kettlebells, American kettlebell swing. Uh, the real kettlebell swing is simply an explosive loaded hip hinge. The, 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 just like in a Romanian deadlift, the purpose is not to see how far down, down you go, it's just loading that hip hinge pattern. Kettlebell swing should be the same. If you look at kettlebell swing experts, many of them actually they, they never bring the kettlebell higher up than this, and sometimes it's here, because they understand that it's not the height the kettlebell travels that's important. It's the power produced by the, hips, the, 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 the hip hinge. Now, in CrossFit, when they use kettlebell swings, they kind of denature the movement, making it, instead of a, a deficient hip hinge movement, they turn it into a, a distance movement. And the reason is really simple. CrossFit being a competition, and not only like the, the actual competition event, the wads themselves, at, at least when CrossFit first started out, was every wad is a competition. You have the whiteboard where you put your score on. So, so you needed a way to be able to establish whether someone actually did a rep that counted. Because you can, if I'm okay, kettlebell swing, what well, I'm doing here. Of course you're gonna have a, a very fast time. So they needed a way to standardize the movement so that it can be measurable. And that they invented the American kettlebell swing in which you have to have the head go through the arms at the top. So that way you can measure and standardize a rep. The problem is, again, it denatures the kibi swing because even if you have a very powerful hip hinge, unless you're using like a eight or 12 kilos, you're not gonna get the kettlebells that high without using the shoulders to get it up. And then you have to bring it back down using a different pattern. So, so it, it puts a lot of strain on the shoulder and, and creates a, a, a great possibility for shoulder impingement. So I understand the need to do it for CrossFit because in competition, they need to be able to measure if a rep is a rep. If they only say, for example, well, the kettlebell has to reach shoulder height. Well, they could, they could swing here and then bring back down here, cheating the movement. You can always find ways to cheat a movement. But if, say, well, the, the, the legs have to be locked out and the, the head has to go through the window, then it's easy to measure. But as a training tool, especially when you do high reps, it's one of the worst things you can do for shoulder health. My wife injured her shoulder doing American kettlebell swings, so she only does the traditional Russian kibi swings nowadays. Anyway, the benefit is not from the distance travel. The benefit is from the actual loading of the hip hinge. So it, the American kibi swing is something you should absolutely avoid unless it is for competition purposes.